What's going on everybody? JT here coming at you with another episode of Pokemon Go and today we're going to be hatching as many 12 kilometer eggs as possible. In fact, when I say today, I mean over the span of multiple days. We're going to do as many as I pretty much want to for this video and I'm going to try to hit triple digits on this video. I want to do a lot of them. So, on that note, we have 12 of them here. So let's see what happens. Maybe we'll get lucky. Again, this is more just a test to see what we'll get out of like 100 plus eggs. And the first one's a shiny. <laughs> Wow, I promise you, I did not know that was there. <laughs> That's amazing. It's the worst one possible, but it's amazing. Actually, no, it's not the worst one possible. I believe you can get a 10, 10, 10, so... That's fine still, but wow, the first hatch out of this video turns out to be a shiny Absol. That's amazing. How about we get two in a row? I've almost never done that. No, but still. <laughs> Number three, come on! No, but I actually kind of want a hundo of one of these, so close. I think it's 722 is the hundo, so this one's actually not that great. Okay, Quattro, let's do this. Come on. Hey, Larvitar, I actually want to hatch a hundo just to hatch one, but that's definitely not it. And we're at 479 XLs. Good lord. Number five, a Corphish. This is probably the worst thing we can get right now. It can't even be shiny, though having the XLs is pretty nice, I guess. All right, number six, halfway point. Another Absol. It would have been hilarious if we hatched two shiny Absols. Oh, this one actually is worse than the other one. Is this the worst one possible? No, but it's close. Oh, lucky number seven. Please be lucky this time. No. <laughs> All right, number eight. What you got for me? Come on! Oh, not a shiny, but that's still fine. But this one's bad. Very, very bad. Number nine. Come on! Scraggy. Fine with that. We're now entering the double digits with number ten here. Come on! Another corefish. Ugh. Number 11. I want to get a couple dinos at least. Eh, Ponyard's cool. And the final egg of batch number one. Number 12 is another Ponyard. All right, not a single dino in that batch at all, but again, we're going to do at least 100 plus of these eggs, so we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I'll see you in the next batch. Hey, everybody, it's now Community Day, and I've got 12 more of the eggs. Let's see what happens. Maybe the Community Day luck will rub off on us. Probably not, not going to lie. But let's see what happens. Number one is Larvitar. How many XLs are we at now? 487. Good lord. Egg number two is another Absol. All right, what do we get for this one? We're at 332 XLs. Nice. Egg number three, another Absol. I'm really hoping that one of these turns out to be a dino because I haven't seen one in a little bit. And there's another Volibee, so that's exciting. 701 CP, and we're currently at 532 XLs for this thing. Number five is another Absol. Okay. Halfway point with number six, please. Ponyard, cool. Hopefully it's a good one. It is a 790, if that's not good, and we're at 251 XLs. Neat. Lucky number seven, though. I'm feeling this one. Come on! Another Ponyard, cool. Please be better? Please? 785, that's a lot worse. Okay, Ocho. This one right here. Dino, sweet. All right, cool. Not shiny, sadly, but right, it's bad. But we did get XLs, and we're currently at 74 XLs for this thing. That's really good. Number nine is another Larvitar. 10 is. Bolivie, come on, come on, shiny. No, corefish, gross. And our very final egg, this is number 24 of this video, is another Ponyard, cool. Let's just see those IVs. Not great as usual, but that's fine. Let's get another 12. All right, everybody, time for the next batch of eggs. Number one is a quailfish. That's fine, but how many XLs do we have? We are up to 90. Egg number two is Bolivie. Cool. And we're at 555 XLs. That's pretty crazy. Number three is Sand Isle. Nice. I love seeing it. How many XLs did we get for that? Oh, nice. We're at 68. Egg Quattro is another Volibee. Cool. Egg number five is another Volibee. Egg number six. What are you? I, okay, cool. Another Quillfish. I mean, at least they can be shiny. Number seven, another Volibee. Number Ocho, Scraggy. Kind of cool. All right, nine. What you got? Follow me again, man. There's a lot of these. Ten is corefish. Gross. All right, eleven. Come on, give me a sparkly one. Cheese. There's a lot of quillfishes in this batch. And our final egg of the batch. This is number thirty-six in total. Is a ponyard. At least we're getting a few ponyards, but this one's pretty bad. We're now on batch number four. This brings us up to forty-eight now. Number one. You've got to be kidding me. Two shiny absols. This one's also terrible though. Wow, that is literally one over being the worst one possible. But still, two shiny Absols in this video so far, so at least we're getting shinies. Number two, 
Larvitar. Number three is another Larvitar. In fact, let's see what our XLs are at right now. Almost 500, literally six away. Nice. Number four, what you gonna be? Another Absol, not shiny. It'd be cool if we get two in one batch though. That would be pretty interesting. All right, unfortunately, I kind of ran out of recording space on the camera, so I don't remember if this is five or six, but let's see what happens. Scraggy, me. All right, I believe this is number six. What is it? Poor fish. Mm. Number seven, come on, please. No, Skaroopy though, that is kind of cool and it can be shiny. Ocho, what you gonna be my friend? Another Absol, cool. Number nine, another Absol, word. Number 10, another Absol, good lord. 11, Volibee, oh wow. I mean, you know, to be honest with you, I expected to see a lot more of these in this batch. And the final egg of this batch, number 48, is another Skaroopy, cool. Let's move on to the next one. It's time for batch number five. Hopefully, we'll get something good from this one. Number one, not starting off with a shiny Absol. So far, we are two out of five batches with that, but still, kinda cool. Number two, Corefish. Disgusting. Number three is gonna be another Absol. There it is. But how many XLs are we at? 379, almost at 400. Four, Dino. Nice, not shiny, sadly, but still nice. What are you, a 590, and we're at 79 XLs. Mm, it's okay. I expected that to be a little better, but still pretty cool. Number six is two dinos in a row. Okay, that's actually really good. But this one's worse than the first one. In fact, that's a 68. Ooh, that is terrible. All right, number seven, I need you to be a third dino. Let's get three in a row. That'd be awesome. No, all right, well, you know, I'm down with Larvitar. That's good, too. Number eight is another Larvitar. Number nine, another Larvitar. Okay, a lot of Larvitars in here. Going on 10 for the double digits. Another Larva Jesus, okay. Number 11, Absol. All right, we finally broke the Larvitar line. And our final egg, number 12, which is also number 60 of the video so far. A Ponyard, man, we seem to wrap up on Ponyards decently often, huh? Oh, 806 is decent, but not good enough. On to the next batch. I've clearly miscounted, because there's another egg here. What are you? A Larvitar. I wanna say that's the last one, so we're gonna wrap it on that. All right, guys, it's time for batch number, I believe, six. I accidentally had one of the eggs go off during a live stream, and it was just a Larvitar, so yeah. Unfortunately, I can't show that to you, but it did happen. So now let's move on with these rest of these eggs, see what we get. This is egg number two of batch six. We got a Scraggy. Cool, I guess. What's the X? Ooh, we're really close with being able to max out one of these to level 50, which is really cool. Number three is this Garoopy. Quattro, nice. Five, Scraggy again. Six, another Absol, cool. What are we at for XLs on this one? <laughs> 385, very nice. Lucky seven, another Scraggy. A lot of Scraggies in this batch. Eight, another Ponyard. Nine, ooh, Sandile, love seeing Sandile. Please be a good one. Nah, not good enough. 10, another Ponyard. And once again, the final egg of the batch, another Volibee, all right. On to the next one. Well, hi, everybody. I believe this is batch number either seven or eight. I've actually lost count. There's been that many. Hi, Goku. How's it going, buddy? Hey. What do you think this one's going to be? I'm hoping it's good. Volibee. Volibee. I mean, that's a that's a fair guess. Very fair guess. Ooh, but Quillfish, quill though. That's fine. That How many XLs? Shiny. It would have been a great shiny. Uh, 98 XLs on that, too. I mean, again, these eggs are great for XLs, even if the shiny rates aren't too good. Number two is... Corefish. God, I hate these things. Another Number corefish. three. Another corefish. Oh, nope. Well, Absol. I'm down with that. What I'm are we really at? bad at this guessing game. <laughs> I'm not good at it either, but. Uh, 394 XLs, though. That's good. All right, number four. What do you think it's going to be? Dino? Dino? No. But, hey, you know, it's somewhat black, so it kind of counts. Dark <laughs> type. We'll go with that. There you go. Number I've lost count. Oh, Sandile. Yes, please be good. No, you're not good, but 85 XL. Number something. There's the Volibee. And next up, we've got ourselves. Another Sandial, two in one batch. That's actually really good, but this one's only slightly better. And this one is a Volibee. Cool, I guess. Also, how many XLs are we at? We're at 592. God. And this one is another Quillfish. And this one is a Ponyard. Very cool. And you are a Volibee. We must be coming close to the end, but again, I've lost count. A Corfish. 
Ugh. And that's all of them for that batch. On to the next one. Time for yet another batch. Will this one be better? Hopefully. First egg is not a shiny, so it's not starting with the shiny Absol, but that's fine. Two is a Vullaby. Number three, Larvitar. All right, cool. Four is a Ponyard. All right. Number five, another Vullaby. Six, another Ponyard. And seven, an Absol. We finally got an Absol. Cool. Eight, Vullaby. Nine is a Dino. Cool. Still not shiny, unfortunately, but still cool. Ten, Larvitar. Eleven, Scraggy. And the very final egg of this batch. Come on, another Dino, but green. No. Well, that's fine. Let's see this one. Oh no, 407 XLs. That's really good, guys. We're doing really good right now. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the final batch of eggs for this video. This will be batch number nine, which brings us up to 106 eggs. Let's see what happens with egg number one. Hopefully we will get a shiny in this, but even if not, that's fine. Well, starting off with a Scraggy, not the best start. Egg number two, what's you gonna be? Another Scraggy, okay. Egg number three. Wow, three Scraggies in a row, huh? This is a weird batch. Number four is, okay, finally not a Scraggy, down with Ponyard and, eh, not so great Ponyard. Number five, all right, Volby. That was bound to come out. Number six is another Volibee. This is the final lucky number seven of this video. So lucky number seven? <laughs> oh God. All right, Ocho, come on, baby. It's Dino, there we go, but not green. But hey, Dino is always great. Ooh, and 597, that's pretty close to the Hundo. I believe the Hundo is 606. 15, 15, 10 too. It's not bad. Number nine, what are you? Volibee. Entering the double digits with number 10. Another Scraggy, wonderful. And 11, what are you? Another Volibee. And this, ladies and gentlemen, will be the, our final egg of the video of Volibee. Kind of poetic, but yes, yeah. That was a decent batch. I mean, we got a dino, at least that was a pretty good dino, but yeah. Now that we're done with all that, I'm gonna take you back to my place and we're gonna go over everything that we hatched and, you know, kind of judge how we did. So I'll see you inside. Okay, everyone, back home, and I actually have all the stats written on some sticky tabs here, so let's see what we hatched. In total, we hatched 108 eggs, and 17 of them were Absols, which is actually pretty good, and we'll dive into that in a little bit as to why that's really good. Volibees, we hatched 25. Scraggy, we hatched 12. Dino, we hatched 5. Corfish, we hatched 8. Quillfish, we hatched 5. Larvitar, we hatched 15. Ponyard, we hatched 13. Skaroopy, we hatched 4. And Sandile, we hatched 4. And out of all those 108 eggs, we hatched two shinies, both of them being Absols. Now, I know a lot of you guys are thinking that this does not look great. Like, these looks like some pretty bad hatches, but... These are actually pretty good. I mean, we could minus Corefish. I don't really see Corefish having much play in the future, but... There's three things on this list that are really, really good that we hatched, so let's dive into them. Let's start off with Larvitar here. We managed to hatch 15 of them, which is great because we got a lot of XL candies for it, and we're gonna need those because when we evolve our Larvitar into Tyranitar, it becomes the fourth and third best rock-type DPSer in the game, period. Only beaten by two other things, but we'll dive into those in just a little bit. But yeah, if we Mega Evolve our Tyranitar into Mega Tyranitar, it is the fourth best DPSer in the game for rock types with a DPS of 17.295, or we can just round it up to 17.3, which is pretty decent. But if you have a Shadow Tyranitar, it's actually a little bit better with a DPS of 17.314. So just a slight bit better, but with the Shadow bonus, it does make it slightly better. And you can only really have one Mega, so it kind of works out to the point that you just have a Mega, that's slightly worse than the rest of them. It, it's kind of sad that the Shadow Tyranitar takes over, but if you have a whole team of them and other people are using them too, it's good to give people that, you know, boost that the Megas give. But in the end of the day, Shadow Tyranitar is a little better. But these things are beaten by other things. The second best rock type DPSer in the game, period, is actually Mega Aerodactyl, with Rock Throw and Rock Slide actually has a DPS of 17.7. So, it's better than Mega Tyranitar and Shadow Tyranitar, but we can't currently have that in the game right now. So, you know, right now it's actually worth having these powered up Tyranitars. But the number one DPSer will always be Rampardos. Rampardos is such a glass cannon, but the amount of damage it does is disgusting. It literally does 18.4 
DPS. It's way above Mega Aerodactyl. No shadow beats it. The only thing that will beat Rampardos is Shadow Rampardos. And man, I can't even imagine that coming to the game because that thing would be so broken. Next up, we have Vullaby here, which I'm actually very happy that we hatched quite a few of them because as I've mentioned in many videos, this thing's really good for PvP as a Manda Buzz. You see, in Great League, it has play, in Ultra League, it has play, in Master League, not so much. Master League, it doesn't have any play at all. But, for the other two leagues, it's great. So you're getting a ton of XL candies to max one out to level 50 for the Ultra League, and for Great League, you're getting a ton of them that you don't want from these eggs that you can trade to your friends and try to get better PvP IVs on them. So, in the end of the day, these eggs are pretty good for Volo because as you saw in this video, 25 of them. We hatched a lot of them, so I actually do feel like these eggs are worth it if you really like PvP and you want something that's a bit bulky and also deal a bit of damage. But by far, the number one thing that we hatched from all of these eggs is definitely Absol. And I know you guys are probably thinking I'm a little crazy on this one, but I'm not. I promise you. You see, Absol actually does have play in the future. It doesn't currently have it, but eventually we will get Mega Absol. And when that comes out, it becomes the second best DPSer in the game with its pure dark type moveset of Snarl and Dark Pulse. It'll have a DPS of 18.6, which is really, really good. Again, it's the second best one. The only thing that beats it is Shadow Weavile. And at this current moment, we have no way of getting Shadow Weavile. It came out in the very, very beginning when the Team Go Rocket Leader showed up. And yeah, you could get it from Sierra as a Sneasel. But not a lot of people grinded that in the beginning because they didn't realize how good it would be. And the only other time you can get one is whether if it comes back or during Team Go Rocket takeovers. Occasionally the leaders will have their previous Shadow Pokemon. But again, it's not a guarantee whether it will be a Shadow Sneasel or not. So right now, it's actually probably best for you to invest into that Absol because it'll again have the Mega Bonus to help boost other Dark types while doing an absurd amount of damage itself. And we have a lot of Psychic and Ghost type legendaries. So it's definitely worth investing into one of these. Again, you can only have one of them, but you definitely want to invest into it. Now, would I recommend to all of you guys grinding hard on the 12 kilometer eggs? Kind of yes and kind of no. You see, the pros to it, as I mentioned with those other Pokemon, are you're getting some good stuff for PvP and some good stuff for potential raid bosses in the future. It's pretty good, but the cons to this are they're hard to get. Either you have to fight six grunts in order to get a rocket radar just to fight one leader, and you're only getting one of them at that point, or you spend two dollars per rocket radar, which ends up costing a bit over time. And also, you know, there's the chance that you'll hatch some good stuff. I mean, you saw the odds. We hatched a lot of decently good stuff, but we also hatched corefish. And I can understand people being reluctant to hatching these eggs after walking eight kilometers with super or 12 with a normal incubator just for a corefish. So, I would say go for it if you can do it, but if you can't do it, I wanna to stress too hard. Take your time with it, you know, try to get a couple eggs over time, hatch them, and hopefully you'll get lucky. Maybe you'll get a shiny dino. It's not a very common thing, it's very, very rare, but it could happen. Or, you could get a shiny Absol, which is much more common, and could possibly get a really good one that you could mega evolve in the future. So, yeah, I'd say these eggs are good, but definitely not like the best eggs ever. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll definitely keep doing these egg videos because I think they're a lot of fun. Don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see your beautiful faces in the next one. Bye!